three is more than two, but can two be better than three? Let's talk about logs, or uh, well, actually pontoons, double versus triple pontoon boats. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Would you agree that it's complicated shopping for a pontoon and people are telling you different stories whether you need a triple or whether a dual pontoon will do? Let's talk about that a little more and we'll give you some insight on when you should and shouldn't go for a triple pontoon boat. Watch this video if you're shopping for a new or new to you pontoon boat and you wanna make sure you make the right choice on the number of pontoons. By the end of this video, you'll understand whether dual pontoon or triple tritune is the right choice for you and your boating. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll tell you two cleaning products to never use on your pontoon boat and also offer you a free downloadable resource to help you with your choice between double and triple pontoons and the performance available from each. In this video, we're going to cover the history of pontoon boats, introduction of tritunes, the rules we suggest when choosing, and the pros and cons of dual and tritunes. The first pontoon boat was considered to be the Weirs Corporation and it was in 1952. Very quickly, some other manufacturers all started in around the 1950s. Really, the pontoon boat industry was fairly unchanged until the 70s and early 80s when pontoons became more luxurious with vinyl seating instead of just benches and then the introduction of the tritunes, which came in the mid 80s. They didn't really gain popularity though until I would say around 2000, 2005. Now we see the pontoon boat market being almost 80% tritunes. We've often seen lots of tritunes that are really not the best idea or not necessary. When you have a 20 foot pontoon boat with a 60 horsepower, on it, a tritune is actually in a lot of ways a detriment. A tritune is great for a number of reasons. One, it adds the capacity in your boat with more flotation. So if you want to take out really big groups or haul some heavy things, a tritune is going to give you that more lift, buoyancy, and capacity. Tritunes also help you reduce the wetted surface by giving you more lift when you have high horsepower and give you the ability to add more horsepower because the rigidity of the boat is increased and strengthened by having that power transferred directly to a pontoon that runs down the middle of the boat versus just part of the deck at the back. So our rules are that anything over 115 horsepower should likely be a tritune, and anything that is under 115 horsepower should likely stay as a dual pontoon, unless you need the extra weight capacity and flotation. The drawbacks of going to a tritune or the cons of a tritune are its extra weight. Because of that, you need extra power. Because of those two things, they cost more money. The other thing is that it requires more specialized equipment. It's a little harder to lift a tritune out of the water, either with a forklift or requires a modified trailer from original. So it's gonna to have to have a third bunk on a bunk trailer, or it's going to have, have a specially made cradle on a scissor lift trailer that actually goes up between the pontoons and encloses the third pontoon. And when you put a pontoon boat that's a triple on the ground, you often have to block it higher in order to get the trailer out from underneath it. Pontoon boats are fast becoming one of the most versatile boats on the water, and that is because of the performance that is available in a tritune. Really, the introduction of the tritune is what pushed pontoon boating from something that is sold to just a few people to mass amount of people wanting to have a pontoon boat. 20 years ago, one in every 50 boats were a tritune. Now, the industry has pushed over 70% and is closing in on 80% tritunes. Our recommendation is that anytime you have over 115 horsepower or anytime you are over 22 feet in length, you go for a tritune. Here is a link, and there's also a copy of that link in the description below, of the common pontoon boat problems that we see on the market today. 
And now, as promised, I'll give you two products to never use when cleaning your pontoon boat. The first is acid on the pontoons. When we clean a fiberglass boat, we often use an acid that's a muriatic acid based to clean all that algae and growth off of it, and it works perfectly. When you use that on a pontoon boat, it will etch it and turn the pontoons white, and it really just kind of looks ugly. The second is spray nine or anything really harsh on the vinyl seats. Pontoon boats are very versatile and you can leave them out in the sun and the, and the rain almost all the time. It's better if you cover them, but you can. And people often, when they get dirty, use a very harsh chemical to clean the vinyl on the seats, spray nine being one of them. And it can, over the time, thin that out, reduce its pliability, and really make for an expensive repair in the future. Thank you for joining us on Lens Cove Lessons in Boating for today's video. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.